Hey guys, so welcome to another um, ASRB haul. Um, this is my uh, end of season haul. ASRB had this uh, sale that lasted a couple days, a couple uh, like a week or two ago, and I finally got it. Um, it's right here. It, I kind of took a peek into it because I was really excited for it. But I did want to mention that I don't, uh, for those who have been seeing my last two videos, I don't put hashtags or like uh, anything to like really get um, noticed more. So those who do find my videos are those who really are interested in learning, learning more about the, the products. And so far I've done only hauls and I want to state that um, I will do reviews eventually, but I've been busy with uh, stuff and hauls are usually easier to do. So it would be, um, I would be grateful if uh, those who do watch, I would like, um, subscribe, and then share with others who also might be interested in air survey. Um, I promise I'll do some reviews on some, some of the stuff I've gotten, like the t-shirts, shorts, pants, sweaters, and um, their bags. But as of right now, I am just grateful that there's some traction coming along on my, on my two previous hauls. And this is my most recent, as I mentioned, the uh, end of season haul uh, sale that happened a couple days ago. So um, let's get into it. So as I mentioned, I already opened this package. I already took a look inside the things I got and how they fit. So this would be uh, really easy for me to explain things. So I'll start with the, the shorts I got. I got five of the shorts that were on sale. I got the jet black uh, cargo shorts. These are these are these. Um, I'll get better shots. I saw this, but these were one of the ones I was looking at as they were heavily discounted. Um, yes. And then also from the same lineup, but in a different colorway, are the same ones, but in the woodland brush camo. And these are all from the Tetra line. And I think these are the most interesting ones. So I got the... Um, the Tetra Coastal Training shorts. I really like the in black and pink. I really like them because of the the zip tag, the Relentless Pursuit zip tag. And they have the shirt loop in the back. And they're really, um, they feel like they're OG Tetra joggers in the pants form. So I feel like these and the pink ones are exact, almost exact same versions of the pants but in short, in a short version, which I really do like a lot. Again, with the, the Relentless Pursuit uh, zipper, short loop in the back, open pocket on the left, and like zipper pocket on the left, um, on the right. So the shorts, I'll come back to them. But this is the uh, Woodland uh, Tetra runner jacket. They released this alongside the white and black version of this one a couple months ago. I got it in a size large. Um, this one has really nice features I thought. It has really, uh, it has like reflective lining across the, the hoodie. The hood itself has the reflective um, trademark logo. And then the back, it's pretty simple. On the black and white versions, they do have the ASRB logo on the lower back, but this one it doesn't. But what really got me the, uh, interested in was the, the whole um, campaign for it for the black and white, but they didn't have my sizes in those, so I got the Woodland one, Tetra 4, split hems on the side, and it's actually really light and a bit more durable than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really thin, 
but it's not. It's really durable. It's, it feels very durable. And it has that windbreaker kind of sound to it, just listening to it. Which the other Tetris don't have as much, but they do. But not as loud as this one. I got all four colorways for the mock tees. Got the dark earths. All of them say the um, only those who risk are free on the left side. Um, I'll put them on to show you better. But uh, so far, just from feeling them, and I did try them on uh, when I got them because I was really excited for it. They do just feel like a basic tee. They don't feel like they have a signature um, fabric inside of them. Um, I'll explain why I think that uh, in a second. Faded gray. Um, probably, uh, this is probably my third favorite. So that's my fourth favorite, the Dark Earth, and how it looks on me. Then third, what third place comes in gray. I really uh, the gray is just like a really timeless feel across the board for all their um, their lineups. I have them in the cinch, and I am planning to hopefully at some point see if they restock their sweater in gray because it just has a little bit more. Uh, Timeless feel. This is my second place colorway, the off white mock neck tee. Still says there, uh, those who are, are fr those who risk are free. And on the back, it has just a really simple uh, wings logo. But and lastly, I got the. Um, The black one, which is my number one favorite for this lineup. On the back, it still has the reflective wings logo. Front is all black. Okay, and then I'll show you how it looks with some some of their fits. This is how the the off, the, uh, the pink look on me. I got an extra large. Um, certainly, they like I can put them on, but. For me at the moment, they're a little bit too tight. Um, but I do like the vibe. They're very starchy, so I feel like I could wear them right now, but I still have some work to do to wear them a bit more comfortably. But this is how they look. They have the uh, embroidered Wings logo on the far right thigh. The Relentless Pursuit, Tetra, Short Loop. And this is how it looks with just a basic white tee that I'm wearing right now. Sort of the black with the white tee. Um, same as before, they fit. I got some work to do. I have some work ahead of me. But they fit right now, but they're a, bit, a little tight because they're the Tetra. These aren't don't feel as stretchy as uh, the LG joggers in the same variant. But uh, they still have the embroidery logo on the right thigh. Tetra 4. Uh, these have like these cinch cords at the at the bottom and that's one thing that I do appreciate about this because like on the other joggers they don't have this and when you're running or walking the the like uh, the hmm, this can like shift around or like feel like it might come off or, like one side could be really long the other side could be really short I really like that from behind uh, as I mentioned I think I think you could go true to size with these, but they do have a more compressed and snug feel. Because I do wear large and they're terry joggers, but those are relaxed forms. And extra large in most of their other joggers that I have, and some large. But these are definitely the tight, uh, the mo more um, slim. Okay, so then these are the cargo shorts and the woodland brush camo. These have a different texture than the... Um, Tetra, OG Tetras. Um, one second before that. These, this is how this feel. The, the straps don't have a cinch cord like the other shorts I just previously mentioned. So these will have the same problem as my other shorts where if you walk around, for me they shift around, one gets long, one doesn't. Um, these don't have the relax 
with two tag at the bottom, but they do have ASRV on the cargo short. It's pretty small. I can't, you can get stuff out of there, but only like four of my fingers fit, not my whole hand. Um, right side has zippers, left side is open, ASRV on the, uh, this one doesn't have any, anything on the, on the cargo. And these have two, um, back side pockets. But this is how it looks with the normal T. I would definitely just wear these, uh, casually. Right. And lastly, of the shorts, these are the black versions of the woodland brush camo. Um, same issue with the, uh, this. They might shift. Zipper on the right. No zipper on the left. Two bag pockets. Nothing on the cargo pocket on the left side. But it's more apparent that there's ASRV on the right side. And it's more of like a rubberized feel as they like, they like printed it on. It's not a screen print or a wash away. Like they're um, just like most of the lineup. But one thing that I want to mention. <laughs> So I do have their silver light uh, shorts in all three colorways. And these, I wear them mostly for um, gym training days. And these, I would also probably, you could also use them for that as they were meant for that. Basic. But I don't wear these around town or across campus um, as these do look very athletic and very um, designed to be in a gym. While these look like more casual shorts, Cross line, at least feel like you can just easily walk around. You know, it would really bad an eye, like, oh, you're wearing um, gym shorts or something like that. They just look more casual. So, fit number one. Um, I really like this fit. So, I got shirts in at large across the board. Um, I'm a bit wider, different build. Um, so, they might different fit more um, oversized for you, but for, for me, they fit just right. They're like really tight up on the chest. And then, um, I don't know. But with these, I really like the vibe. The oversized um, sleeve, short sleeve, and the high rib neck. Fit number two, off-white mock neck tee, high rib joggers. Um, something that I think is weird, I'll note it in the, when I'm editing. I do think sizing kind of varied a little bit within color to color. I got them all large, but they don't feel all the same. Um, or maybe you can tell that from looking at the video. But this feels um, a bit more looser. Sleeves feel looser. But maybe they're not. Maybe it's just um, my own thing. But this is fit number two. Really like the really like this combo. It'd be really nice to wear outside. Um, black and black sometimes is not the vibe, but this is really nice. Off white and the black joggers. I move on to the next shirt. Third fit: gray mock neck tee, high rib joggers, oversized fit, size large. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I would size large. I would not size up in this. Uh, yes, it has a tight fit on me, but I wouldn't want a, um, a larger fit. I'll explain why in a second. But this is the this is the fit. Fit number three: dark earth mock neck tee, black pants. Something you might have noticed. I'm getting like sweaty. It's really humid right now, so please don't mind that. Um, this is how this is the look. This is the look. So this is where the, the try-ons and the looks are done. And now I'll explain what I think compared to the other tees in a second. Hello. So I'm going to draw some comparisons to some of the past t-shirts now. And um, explain why I think the mock neck tee um, textile fabric, it's their... their least premium feeling one so here we have a mock tee i hung it up um and right behind it i have what i think is the number one uh 
Carfax um, fabric. So this is made with a, a silver plus. It's very soft and it's very nice. And compared to this one, this feels like more of a stiffer, drier t-shirt uh, that you could wear out. It's not as um, soft and it looks more uh, basic. But that's what I think when I feel this one and I put it on. These are both a size large next to each other. And when so when putting them next to each other, the Mac neck tee has this longer sleeve, giving it a more oversized look. And the neck is definitely uh, longer. So then it's a uh, silver plus inch tee, mock neck tee, large. This one wins, and then I have the the French Terry shirt, size large, and I have the mock neck tee, size large. These are both the dark earth, and next to each other, next to the sleeves again, mock neck tee is definitely longer. Um, also size large. The colors are almost the same, basically the same. But again, fabric, French Terry wins, uh, the mock neck tee loses. In the closest representation to what it feels like, in my opinion, is a here's the gray one. It's a gray one. Next to their ASR retraining, the stress tee. Um, I guess both of them do have T in their name, which probably doesn't matter, but this one closely resembles this cut. Feels like the same fabric, honestly. It looks the same in person, probably not in video, but then the sleeves, that's what they look like. So if someone, would ask, if someone asked um, what it feels like, compared to their Silver Plus French Terry, it feels the, the stiffest and the most basic one out, out of them all. Doesn't have any performance feel, doesn't have any special fabric that makes it ASRV other than just the uh, design. I still like it a lot, but it's not something that I would be like, oh, I, had, I got to have to work out on compared to the Cinch Tees and the um, Silver Plus or the French Terry. I can't show you guys how this one fits on me. I got a size large and I kind of checked up on it to make sure I was saying the right thing. The size large um, chest size, chest width is a 40, uh, 45, 46 inch and uh, I'm in size 48. So I should have gotten the extra large but the extra large was sold out in um, this colorway and in the um, black and white versions but at least I can show you guys more a closer look. Um, so this is the Woodland Brush Camo, size large, um, it's really nice quality overall, really compares, their, this Tetra compares to their um, board shorts, I have it, I have, I have it named on, on the screen, the inside has some mesh materials that we're used to from the Tetra line, but if you want, if you look at the sleeve, it doesn't really have that much stretch to it. It's pretty rigid. Really nice quarter zip. I really like this design on the bottom. Front really splits here at the front, so it'd be like a front split kind of look to it. In the back, you see the logo text. And this is the back. It doesn't have the lower back air V logo on it, but it's okay. But I'm gonna use this as a piece to like motivate me to keep working out and keep pushing through. Um, this is one of the pieces I would like to wear more often, but as of right now, I'm gonna shelf it and wait for a better time to wear it. I'm in a rush. I know that as time passes, less and people would know about this. You know, it'll look more distinct. 
and yeah that's all if you guys have any questions comment them down below in the comment session section um subscribe share um and like my videos thank you